Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I was able to achieve this Zoe Kravitz slash boho inspired look. So I want to start this video off by saying hi, hello. Following my last braiding video there's been a few new people and I didn't obviously expect so many people to join the family, to subscribe. Like yeah I don't know it's just giving me like all like more motivation to just like create content and put myself out there a bit more so thank you guys also thank you to Y Wigs for sponsoring this video with the braiding hair so in my package i received two bundles of 26 body wave braiding hair claw clip a crochet needle and a rat tail comb also disclaimer i did dye the hair i bleached it and then i like kind of dyed the ends black but the hair does come as a natural 1b so the first thing i'm going to do is part my hair into three sections the front into two and then the back it's just easier for me to do my hair this way because i'm doing it by myself and then with the back what i'm going to do is just divide that because I don't want them to be too small but at the same time I don't want them to be too big. I've started doing the back row and I just wanted to make sure that I liked the size and then I liked the size of the, um, the boxes that I've made. I'm doing knotted braids or just like, you know how they used to do braids back in the day when they used to have like the knot? I'm doing that but not so big. Yeah, it's been a bit of a chaotic day. I'm not even going to lie to you. Right. So I've got my two pieces of hair and by the way this is a mixture of colour 30 and 33. This is why like I this is I understand why people get pre-stretched like I get it I get it. Right so I've got my two pieces of hair then all I'm going to do is tie them not tie them bring them in the middle then I'm just going to loop it like this so it's like and now let me show you facing this way if you see any sweat patches just ignore it. So, and then what we're going to do is going to take my right hand and I'm going to go underneath the second strand of hair. So yeah, it loops like this. Take that second strand of hair, twist it, and then we take the index finger and my thumb and loop it. So it's like that. I don't know if that helps or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this hair into three. Like, you know, you can, you can pre-part it if you like. I usually don't, but let's just pre-part it. Then I've got my hair. And I'm going to stick one strap, one piece of, so one strand of the expression with my real hair. I'm going to take this strand and attach it to my real hair. And then underneath, I'm going to take the far right piece of hair and attach it to that expression. Then we can immediately just start braiding. And whilst you're doing this, I like to pull it just a little bit, just so that it's like extra tight and there's no like gaps or anything so i'm gonna just plait it for a little bit just do a few okay and then now i can bring it to the front and i can start braiding it and then yeah i'm just gonna braid this until the end okay so hi okay so i braided everything and i've got just that little piece of hair left and now i'm gonna add in the braiding hair which has been dyed so um I've dip dyed the ends black because I wanted to do that kind of like foxy, what's it, the foxtail trend. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what I do to uh, layer the hair. You see how like this is just a normal piece of hair, I'm going to cut it in half to so literally just blend and part. Now we've got a bit of layer in the expression anyway. And then we start to braid as normal. I was really looking forward to doing like these braids just because I want, I need to like let my hair breathe, I need to let my hair relax. Is anybody else like exhausted doing their hair like every other week? Oh my gosh. When it comes to hair, because I do my hair myself as well, like it's now become a chore. Because before it was like, oh now I get to try something new. Now, I think my patience has gotten really, really low. Like when I do my hair, I want it done as soon as possible. and. You're probably thinking, well, just get someone, like, just pay someone and just get it done. Mm, yeah, no. The problem with that is, like, what if they don't do it how I want them to do it? I have, like, obviously I've told you guys, I've got thin edges and I've got fine 
type of hair like my hair is thin. my hair is all thin so there's not many people that understand like how to like work with my type of hair it's not one size fits all when it comes to hair for example if there's someone that does specialize in like fine type of hair then fine like let's you know let's do something but until then like we're just gonna cause more problems really right we are very close and we are very personal right now right so this is the hair another thing to just remember is when you're braiding braid as high as possible so don't braid down here because now can you see what i've done it's putting the braid down so now the, the braid will start here instead you want to get it as close to the middle as possible because i know that when you're doing your own hair it is hard but just try close to the middle as possible so lift it up lift it up i'm just gonna check i hope i haven't gripped any of the hair so you can see that yeah then we're going to a hairdresser and then you just see like how neat their braids are because the hairs are even if the hair's uneven just try and like thin it out where you can but don't i wouldn't take hair from one strand and then pass it on to another because it makes the hair look uneven so yeah i'll just do it this way okay hi yeah i'm back so i just thought i'd show you so this is the hair and so far the hair in a ponytail right and then look how long it is bear in mind that's not even you know all of the hair done but yeah it's a bit long isn't it i know yeah anyway okay i'm just gonna take some mousse this this mousse smells really nice. I'm just going to run it through the hair quickly. Also, I'm just like scrunching it up so it can bring back the curls. This is how the hair is looking. And I really, I love it. You know when you wear braids and you look really young, but well, you don't want to look young, but you also just want to have braids because it's just so easy and it's low maintenance. Yeah, this would be a good hairstyle because it's just like, it's giving effortless. It's giving, you know i didn't do too much but we just spent two days doing my hair but they don't need to know that you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for your support like honestly it means so much and i hope i can you know i hope to create more content for you guys if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and also like leave a comment like i'd love to know what you guys think thanks guys bye